Hey makers, this is Dhruveen and in this episode, I am going to talk about top 10 upcoming M365 Copilot announcement that has been done by Microsoft. This feature is planned to be rolled out in end of the May, but let's explore out all the features in detail over here with me. So the first announcement is around new home page for M365 Copilot. Current home page doesn't provide you much more functionality on the search and other feature. So this is the newly revamped version of the home page for N365 Copilot, where you can see that you have the chat section. Apart from that, you have analyst and researcher option. What exactly those are? That is something I'm going to talk about in a while. Apart from that, you are having notebooks, you are having create option and different apps option as well over here. And over here, you can just uh, make your Copilot uh, prompt and just get the result the way you want. So this is the revised, revamped structure of the home page over here and again what makes this home page special is this search box so uh, currently right now we don't have the proper search option in n365 copilot home page so this is definitely going to be a game changer so this is the first announcement second important announcement is around copilot notebooks so let's explore it out what exactly the notebook is so over here when you open up your home page you are having this notebook section over here so notebook is something which is dedicated workspace for the project specific content here you can organize your files notes and interaction by the project and basically it will provide you a grounded contextual conversation with the copilot on notebooks content so basically, it's useful for the structural project management. So it's like your, you know, your folder. Maybe we can explore more out when this feature will be rolled out. I will be creating a dedicated video on that. But this is what I uh, gathered from the official announcement. So basically, it will organize your files, notes and interactions. Okay, so notebooks is doing basically that particular activity. Third important aspect over here is researcher so now what exactly the researcher is let me just explain you so when you are having the researcher on the chat sign you are able to see this researcher option over here okay and whenever you click on that you just need to provide your prompt and basically it is doing the deep reasoning based on the query that you have supplied over here Let's say for an example, over here, you just wanted to uh, make a marketing plan for upcoming uh, smart sneaker product. Then you just provided this particular prompt over here. And once you provide this prompt, basically it will do the deep reasoning. Again, it will use OpenAI's O model in order for the deep research over here. So it will basically look out your uh, private files or, or you know or which is available on your OneDrive or maybe in your SharePoint as well as it will look out the web resources and perform the full research for you and summarize this entire thing over here for you and you will be ready with the research stuff in one hand okay so ultimately at the end you will get this overall idea based on all the activities that it has performed as a part of researcher so again it's a game changer feature i can say currently if you look at the chat gpt and all over there deep reasoning models are already there so over here in the m365 copilot it will come up as a researcher over here for you again it's a very cool feature uh, which is being announced over here so when it will be available i will be do more uh, uh, videos around that on the later part okay number fourth feature is for analyst so analyst is again a very good feature so basically it is useful for uh, data comparison so let's say for an example you want to act as a data analyst and let's say you have this kind of excel spreadsheet and this kind of data and on top of that let's say if you just wanted to do some analysis and if you just wanted to find out the right customer segment and demographic to sell the new smart fitness sneaker okay and basically you attach some of the document file over here and you wanted to perform this whole analysis so what exactly this do again it will use open ai's deep reasoning model to analyze this thing so it will start performing and analyzing uh, this stuff that you have provided here it's not necessary that you need to only have the excel file even if you have any kind of unstructured data or word file it will analyze everything and basically it will provide you the analysis to you it will capture all the data point even though you don't know python scripting and all which is required for the data analytics and all basically it will 
automatically generate this kind of python script and all the uh, data points it will observe and create the final outcome for you that okay uh, what is your uh, targeting market for this smart face blade sneakers over there right so this is again a very cool feature which is available which will be available uh, again um, researcher um, this is again another cool announcement that has been happened over here so what exactly this analyst agent will do it will design for complex and messy data analysis unstructured and cross file data plans and execute the analysis like a data scientist and generate the python code for analysis and explain the explain and visualize the insight okay and basically it is useful for real time reasoning and code execution for yourself okay so this is the four important announcement number 5 is all about the agent store so what exactly the agent store is agent store is nothing but it provides the uh, different agents published by microsoft or any third party provider or let's say if you have built any kind of custom agent at your organization level it will be available as your agent store over here uh, underneath the same m365 copilot over here all right so this is another interesting thing number 6 important announcement is around improved search now copilot search is being improved a lot so what happen here is over here it will be providing this kind of search box where you just need to uh, ask for your query for the search and over here you can see that copilot will start analyzing and again it will show the result from the different apps or different apps connected to m365 as well and showing you the combined results set over here this is again a very cool and game changer so again search feature is the heart of the m365 copilot and basically it uses not just a regular search it will use the ai search so let's say when you search for any query and let's say if you find any document over there and if you just open up as a preview you don't need to even write a prompt to show a summary basically let's say whenever you do preview you know you can see this file preview as well as summary is all already automatically created over here for yourself right so this is again again amazing and cool feature over there now next important announcement is around copilot create feature so uh, over here in m365 home itself they provide the option for copilot create now in copilot create you can create the different things so let's say if you want to create any image or let's say if you want to design any poster or let's say if you want to write any kind of draft for yourself or maybe let's say if you just want to edit any image or let's say if you want to convert any audio or create any video everything will be available in the same page over here underneath create option apart from that it is providing you some more option as well which you can create as well with the help of copilot uh, m365 copilot so i can see the, it as a full fledged you know um, a studio kind of thing where you can do everything you can edit your image create your image poster everything so you know you don't need to switch around between the different apps like let's say third party apps and all so everything will be available inside the m365 copilot itself is it's really really cool and again it Uh, sometimes provide you the brand template as well again this is a need for most of the organization right you know whenever you are drafting any document and all sometimes you are having some sort of template for your organization and specifically you want your copilot to use those templates so probably this will be available with this brand template and all templates option over here so again uh, when it will be available uh, we can explore more around that and create some more content around that okay so this is seventh important announcement now eighth important announcement is around mobile readiness so this entire m365 copilot is mobile ready so all these features you can use out at your fingertips at your mobile as well so it's very very useful number ninth important announcement is around copilot control system so copilot control system is basically designed to uh, give the organization full visibility and control over security and governance it provide different management control and it provide different measurement for return of investment and different kind of reporting over there so over here you can check what are the different connectors available what are the different apps uh, and agents are uh, 
अवेलेबल एट योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हु इज यूजिंग वॉट यू कैन ऑल्सो मैनेज द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ सेंसिटिविटी लेबल्स एंड एवरी थिंग यूजिंग पव यू एंड अगेन इट विल प्रोवाइड यू द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ एनालिटिक्स दैट ओके हाउ मेनी लाइसेंस यूज इट इज दैर हु इज यूजिंग वॉट एंड एवरी थिंग एट वन सेंट्रल प्लेस सो सम मोर रिपोर्ट्स आर कमिंग ओवर दैर अंडर नीथ दिस पर्टिकुलर सेक्शन ओके एंड ओवर हियर अगेन इट विल जस्ट गिव यू सम इनसाइड दैट ओके इफ यू बिल्ड एनी काइंड ऑफ को पायलट वॉट काइंड ऑफ वॉट काइंड ऑफ स्कोर इट इज गिविंग ओवर हियर लाइक ओके वॉट इज द सेटिस्फेक्शन स्कोर एंड ओके हाउ मच टाइम इट इज सेव फॉर अ स्पेसिफिक यूज केस सो इट विल प्रोवाइड यू ऑल द इनसाइड्स ओवर हियर नेक्स्ट and last announcement we are here having around memory and personalization so again this is very very useful feature if you have observed chat gpt right in chat gpt generally it remember your memory that let's say for an example if you did any search basically it just keep that in the memory so next time when you use any prompt and all it just use that memory in order to respond to you so this is basically the similar feature i am expecting to be coming out in m365 copilot as well that memory and personalization will now in m365 copilot and basically um, it learns how you operate through your charts or role or preferences or custom instruction that you have provided and deliver more relevant and contextual assistance to you and everything it remembers is private and visible only for you it will not use your memory for someone else okay it's completely private uh, and again a uh, privacy is a, a very big plus one over here and basically uh, w- when you are working with sensitive information you stay in control so it will be easily manageable and what copilot retains or what copilot forget this is all something which is fully controllable over here right so these are all top 10 announcement by m365 copilot which i just wanted to cover it out over here so that's it for today and tell me in the comment section which feature you are waiting for and which feature you like the most i want to hear from you as well and when this feature will be available i will create a dedicated videos on that so make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel and don't forget to follow me on my twitter and instagram because these are the platform where i'm uploading short content on power platform if you are looking for any paid training i'm conducting different training on the power platform you can always visit my website www.powerplatformtrainings.com com all the details for connecting me is available in the description box so do check it out so see you in the next episode with some amazing video till then have a great day goodbye